Hello there, welcome to this uh, Tuesday's uh, SBC News. It is this Friday that the Constitutional Court will listen to three sides in a petition concerning the contravention of Sarah Rennie's right of liberty under the Constitution. This is linked to the bail conditions imposed on Mrs. Rennie in connection with the missing $50 million case. They, these uh, are a cash bill of $2 million and two sureties, each of $1 million. The petition cites the Anti-Corruption Commission and the Attorney General as respondents. They are both calling for the dismissal of the petition. Members of the public will not pay for bringing their waste on the landfill if uh, they follow the process of a classification of waste in four categories as required by the Landscape and Waste Management Agency, LWMA, from the 8th to the 10th of April. This will be during the cleanup uh, Seychelles campaign by the LWMA, which starts on Friday. There are four main categories of which the public can sort their waste, green, bulky, electronic and construction waste. LWMA's chief executive, uh, Shields Barra, says that besides the Clean Up the World campaign in September, the Clean Up Seychelles campaign will take place three times a year, and this will be in April, June and December. Mr. Barra is uh, urging uh, members of the public to take the opportunity to keep their homes and Seychelles clean. We're not going to do um, uh, a street-side collection like we did before, people will be required to take their own waste to the landfill on Mahe, Prale, and La Digue. Uh, however, normally you will be charged for the waste. On these three days, there will be no charge on any domestic waste coming to the landfill. As long as it is sorted in uh, the four categories, which is green waste, bulky waste, e-waste, and construction waste. Um, uh, you can have these different type of waste in the same vehicle um, uh, and we consider sorted as long as uh, you can see that it's properly separated within that vehicle. If it is mixed in a manner that uh, it's difficult or impossible to separate, it will not be considered as part of the, um, of the cleanup program and uh, it will be charged accordingly, which is uh, $75 a ton. So uh, please um, sort the waste. Now, reason for doing that, um, we have a problem in that uh, we're running out of space for landfill. Um, uh, we need to reduce the amount of waste that we send to landfill. And in order to reduce the amount of waste, we need to start sorting waste. And, uh, you know, for example, the green waste, we can turn those into compost. Uh, some of these bulky waste, we can sh shred it to get better compaction. We might even be able to extract some resources, resell some s certain things. Um, same with e-waste, there are important components in e-waste that can be recovered um, uh, and ex for exportation. Construction material um, can be reused and go back into construction. So uh, there's a number of things that we can do with waste. Um, instead of just putting it in the landfill. Solving that problem is not something that um, us government can do alone. We need the people, the waste generators, to work with us. And uh, we'll be putting out a number of, uh, um, uh, a lot of information uh, to assist people uh, so that they can learn what they need to do uh, so that we can move forward. A 30-year-old man from uh, Ansope has been sentenced for to 15 years in prison for sexually abusing a minor. The crime was committed in 2019 when the girl was 15. The Minister for Foreign Affairs says that the government has spent around 4 million rupees on visits and trips abroad since October 2020. They include presidential and ministerial visits. 
The Minister for Foreign Affairs and Tourism, Sylvain Saradogon, gave uh, these uh, answers to the National Assembly this morning. He was answering a private notice question from the leader of the opposition, Sébastien Pillet, who wanted the minister to give the National Assembly details on how much it has cost for the trips uh, by the President and his ministers since uh, October 2020. President Wevel Ramkalawan today met with two Seychelles at uh, State House. Uh, this was uh, Dorine Valentin, who was recently promoted as the hotel manager at the Alamanda Doubletree at Ansforban. Mrs. Valentin, who has been in the tourism industry for over 20 years, said that perseverance is needed in all types of work and that people must follow their dreams even though they are tough times. The president also met Stephen Kami. Mr. Kami, an SPTC bus driver, was congratulated for his kindness when he went out of his way to drop off two stranded tourists at their hotel after they missed the last scheduled bus at Belazar. He said that money is not everything in life, that helping and being kind are also important. The ambassador of Finland to Seychelles, Pirka Tapiola, presented his credentials to President from Kalawan at State House this morning. Ambassador Tapiola is replacing Ambassador Eric Lundberg, who has been his country's representative since 2019. During their discussions, they covered various topics such as sustainability, human rights and democracy. With your president with your minister we have also had uh, extensive discussions on the global uh, effects of the brutal invasion by Russia of Ukraine where Seychelles has been a uh, like-minded country with Europe I do hope to deepen our relationship a very non-complicated very like-minded relationship further and look at opportunities both in the, the economy and in political cooperation and in building a greener, better future. The board of uh, Novobank has announced that uh, Ahmad uh, Said will retire as CEO of Novobank uh, as of the 30th of June this year. The board has announced in a communique that uh, Christophe Edmo will take on the role as a new CEO of the bank on the 1st of July, subject to regulatory approval. Mr. Edmo, who is currently the first deputy governor of the Central Bank of Seychelles, has extensive banking experience. The Nouveau Bank Board has expressed its appreciation for all that Mr. Said has done in building up and running Nouveau Bank over many years. That's the SBC News for now from the team here at 7. A very good evening to you.